Type C versus Lightning. Every time I switch to an iPhone, it is the connector that surprises me the most. It would seem that the whole world has already switched to Type-C. Even in MacBooks and iPads, it's standard, but Apple still holds on to its ancient connector. So why does the company believe in it? Is the main version of Lightning being more reliable or maybe smarter? I wonder, let's take a look. According to the official Type-C documentation, the connector must withstand at least 10,000 connection disconnection cycles with no more than 500, a maximum of 500 connections per hour. What about Lightning? There is no official data on it, but there is information from certified cable manufacturers, and the boldest of them claim five to 6,000 connection disconnection cycles, which is even less than that of Type-C. But since there is no precise data, the only way to find out the truth is to conduct a test. Within the span of an hour, we will connect and disconnect the smartphone to Type-C and Lightning a thousand times. At the same time, we will exceed the norm of 500 connections. Whichever wire and connector suffers less wins, and these guys will help me. Hi. Hello. Interestingly, from the very beginning, both connectors are quite loose. Well, let's see. In the meantime, we'll figure out which connector is cooler, smarter, and has more functions. This is Droider. Let's go. In general, lightning was a breakthrough at the time. Do you remember what came before it? This monster is two and a half centimeters wide. It was simply referred to as a 30 pin connector for the number of contacts. But why so many? The old Apple connector was used for everything. iPads, iPhones, docking stations, all kinds of accessories. So contacts for everything were stuffed into it. Two separate channels were allocated for data transmission according to the five wire standard. Two separate channels according to the USB standard. As many as five channels for analog sound, three channels for analog video transmission. Remember, remember these tulip wires? In fact, they were built into one wiring. Plus a bunch of charging options with different voltages and different grounding. Pretty cool. On the other hand, many did so. The owners of the first Galaxy Tab will also remember this one. And so in 2012, Apple introduced Lightning. Compact, versatile, suitable for sound transmission, data charging, and more durable. And of course, thanks Tim and Steve. The two-sided Apple literally told the whole story. Insert as you please, and we in turn were happy. But how did they achieve such a cool design? The old connector transmitted both digital and analog signals. With Lightning, they completely switched to digital. So the number of contacts was reduced to at the same time, the contacts on the wiring are located on both sides so that we can plug it in as we want, but use it anyway. But the cool thing is, since all the contacts are digital, the connector has become adaptive. That is, we connect the connector to the computer and transmit data via the dedicated contacts. Connect the headphones and the sound comes out. There was nothing like that at the time. Micro USB in Androids was lacking far behind. There were only five contacts. The speed was slow and there was no fast charging, but eight years have passed since then and 25 connection disconnection cycles since our challenge began. How are the connectors? Type C hasn't changed much. Neither has Lightning, though it has a tighter fit, but more on that later. In both cases, compared to Lightning is, damn, really a spaceship compared to the Lada Kalina. Although Lada Kalina may also have an unearthly origin. Look, 24 contacts against eight, the speed of 40 gigabytes per second against five. And this five is at best. We'll come back to this later. Fast charging up to hundred watts and a bunch of alternative modes. In all this, we talked in the video about USB 4. Type C is the most advanced connector. One of these can replace the HDMI port, charging socket, headphone jack, and a bunch of other things. But no one can replace my assistants. How are they? Both subjects have become looser. Type C even seemed to have warmed up a little. We're going on and on, but universality has a downside. Under the guise of a Type C connector, you can discover the notorious USB 2.0 with a speed of 480 megabytes per second. You probably think that Lightning is better in this regard, but it is even worse. First, this is a closed standard and Apple does not reveal its characteristics. That is, when buying a wire, you will not know its specifications. But later on, the lightning wires, it turns out, differ from each other. Included, for example, all iPhones and iPods and other accessories will come with USB 2.0 wires. The speed is 480 megabits. You can verify this by looking at the USB side of the wire. Here, for example, is the cable from the iPhone 11 Pro. Can you imagine? It has enough contacts for compatibility only with USB 2.0, but it can not work with USB 3.0. However, with the second gen iPad Pro, the situation is different. It has 16 contacts in its lightning, not the usual eight. Hence, the data transfer speed like USB 3.0 and faster charging, but it still can't be compared with the compatibilities of Type-C. But why does Apple still not switch to Type-C? There is definitely no information on iPhones, but there is a legend about the incredible riches that the proprietary connector brings them. Look, if you want to produce accessories for Apple, you need to join the MFI program, which stands for Made for iPhone, iPad, 
and so on. By the way, to find something out about the connector, you also need to join it. We try. In exchange, you get all the necessary documentation and Apple money. On the one hand, it looks like greed. On the other, Apple seems to have been ahead of Type-C by three years. And in general, it's not good to change connectors often. So Lightning will most likely be around at least until they abandon the wires altogether, which can actually be the case for iPhone 13. At least, they say so. Meanwhile, in our test, the Lightning is still the same, while Type-C is already even looser. And finally, reliability. Where did the rumor come from that Lightning is more reliable than Type-C? Even I said it in several videos. Well, first, Lightning looks like a thing in which there is nothing to break down, just a plug and a few contacts. And also, look at the simple clear mount. The wire snaps gently when you insert it. The connector itself is wider inside, so there is less accumulation of fine particles, and it's easier to clean. In short, it's not for nothing that Apple patented Lightning. USB couldn't produce the same, so Type-C had to be literally turned inside out. Therefore, it turned out to be much more complex. There are a lot of small parts, more contacts, and in general, it looks more fragile. Dirt can get not only inside the connector, but also inside the wire and it's more difficult to get in. And there is also a plug. And where is the mount? Is it gone? At least, that's what everyone thinks. But what really happens? Apple's branded wires peel off quickly enough, but it is more critical that open contacts peel off and oxidize. The problem happens often, especially with the fifth contact, if you count from right to left, because it transmits energy in the wires. Type-C contacts are better hidden, so there's nothing to oxidize there. But most importantly, contrary to popular belief, there is a mount in Type-C. It's just inside. Therefore, in practice, there are fewer problems with Type-C wires than with lightning. But with connectors, on the contrary, Type-C connectors are more easily loosened. But let's see how these things are doing in a test. So, after a thousand connections, this is what happened. The Type-C smartphone has a badly damaged inlet. The connector itself is loosened, just as we expected. Lightning has loosened too, but not so much. And the steel frame around the connector protected it from the scratches. In general, it seems that one of the Boris has suffered the most from the test. The charging functionality is fine, works on both smartphones. And now, let's check the connection to the computer. We fiddle with the connector, but Type-C transfers the file. Everything seems to be in order. Lightning got a little shaky and the connection was interrupted. This problem keeps repeating. Let's see what happened. As we predicted, one contact, number five, was rubbed the hardest. Here it is also inside the connector, as if one tendril has deviated a little. Perhaps the connection is interrupted due to this. If you summarize the information, the pros of Lightning are the first two-way standard and high adaptability. The cons? It's obsolete. Developers have to pay for a license and the low quality of branded wires. Technically, Type-C is better than Lightning. It is free and the contacts are protected in the wire. The disadvantages are fragmentation and loosening of the connector. At the same time, our test today showed that despite the loosening, Type-C remains more reliable after thousands of extreme connections within an hour. Thanks for watching. See you later.